Okay, um, so next day, got the head off, um, went through and cleaned up this mating surface, um, just using a little bit of gasoline and a Scotch-Brite and a um, touch of brake cleaner um, at the end. Still need to blow the cylinders out, um, but the next thing I'm gonna do here is clean up the threads on these studs and uh, just using a die, it's a uh, 14 by 1.5. Just carefully thread this on. You really want to make sure that your threads are good and clean so that when we go to reassemble, we get correct, correct torque values. So I'm going to go through and clean all of these up, blow everything out, and then move on to cleaning the cylinder head itself. So one thing you might find is that the handle for your die won't fit between the studs. If that's the case, the studs are relatively clean. So you can just put the die itself on and work it down by hand to get those cleaned up. Okay, so I have this all cleaned up now. Engine block is clean put a little bit of assembly lube um, on the pistons there. I also got this thing at top dead center. See, so you got this piston all the way up at the top and doing that so that I can check my <clears throat> valves when I put this back together and I, I did find the specifications for that um, and I'll include a screenshot here in the video. Um, but you can see on this inspection panel here, hopefully, there's the mark for the top dead center. So, a little easier to get it there with the head off. I've got the head all cleaned off also. Good enough. Um, this was the old gasket. Split here. That's the reason for the repair at this point. Um, so I'm going to prep my replacement gasket. I usually use this uh, sealant in addition to just the gasket itself. So here's the gasket. Um, so I'm going to get that prepped and we'll get it on there. Okay, so here we are with the gasket drop back into place. And now we're going to grab the cylinder head and throw that on there. Okay, so I have the head nuts back on there, uh, just finger tight. And there is a specific way that you need to torque these. so. Um, the torque values for the cylinder head nuts um, are uh, 118 to 137 newton meters, um, which converts to about 100 foot pounds, give or take. Um, and you need to torque them in this, this order. So I'm going to do this in steps and uh, start at 30, then work up to 60 then 90, and then do a final torque at 100. Um, so you work through this pattern doing that, and really what you're trying to do is it's squeezing this gasket out to make sure that it is evenly uh, locked down to the cylinder head. So we're just gonna use a manual torque wrench for that, set your um, torque settings throw that on there and go to town. So this is the first one up here.
So I'm going to work through this and then we'll get back to the rest of the reassembly. Okay, uh, getting there. Um, got a few things put together here. Uh, got the intake manifold back on, reconnected uh, the fuel return rail, uh, replaced the ceiling uh, washers on these connections on top of the injectors. Of course, the injectors are now installed. Um, installed the rocker assembly. Um, and the machines at top head center right now, I'm gonna um, sort out uh, checking the valve clearance here a bit. Uh, got the <clears throat> water pump reconnected, uh, hose is reconnected, getting ready to refill the water uh, in the radiator. <clears throat> and then uh, just a little buttoning up. Uh, so probably the next clip we show here, um, we may be up and running. So here it is all back together. Heads back on, intake, injectors, new ceiling washers in the injectors. I am gonna replace all the fuel lines on this. These top ones don't look bad, but these bottom ones are definitely seeping. So I've got some of those on the way. Um, used a uh, silicone gasket on the uh, valve cover. I did grease up my water pump while I was in here. The other thing I've done is updated the oil filter setup. Um, so this is a type three uh, oil filter adapter and then running a Wix 51515 XP filter. So I did an oil change uh, while I had this in here in the warm. And we've cleaned up the exhaust. We got that off because we've got to put the loader back on. I'm uh, going to pull it out here in a minute and see how she runs. Alright, here we are, start to back up. 